he's been in power for 30 years already. And Yoweri Museveni is in no doubt he will be in power for at least another five years. Political stability by giving enough majority to the NRM to run the country with stability. On Tuesday, Museveni held his final rally in Kampala to fire up his supporters for what he's expecting will be another decisive win. While seven other candidates are hoping Museveni is wrong, now whether any can pose a serious challenge, though, is another matter. The polls show Kiza Besije is the closest challenger. Besije has lost three times to Museveni in the past and expects to lose again. No one has cast a vote yet, but already Besije is crying foul. The election has no chance of being free or fair from the start. It cannot be. So are you going to accept the results either way it goes? That will now, of course, if we are the winners of the unfree and an unfair election, we cannot say, although we have won, you know, really we can't take power because <laughs> this was not a free and fair. We are in this to overwhelm the unfreeness and the unfairness. Those uh, who will interfere with this election are likely to cause us a problem for the country because there is really desperation on the part of the people to see change. Besije is worried about potential intimidation of his supporters. Already on Monday, one was shot dead amid clashes with police in Kampala, an incident that's also raised concerns among monitors from the European Union. The country's electoral commission says it's able to deliver a free, fair and credible vote. Uganda's 15 million voters are hoping that is the one election promise that will be delivered. Jane Keo, CCTV, Kampala, Uganda.